All right, it's time to continue our quest in Mass Effect. So last time I got all of the side stuff done, and now we can move on to the bigger things. So, where to go first? Should we go to Ferro? We'll go to Novera first, because it's closer. But first we'll go here, and see if we can get anything of use. Let's survey the land. Medallion recovered. Very nice. Nope. Although something tells me at this point, uh... Oh. So I won- hang on a minute, let me finish this up first. This was unintentional. Hmm. Okay, so I guess I found, uh... Okay, so like I said before, it looks like I found another, uh, spot of interest. Let's go take a look. It appears this person was trying to make the nearby mineral deposit when he died, or was killed. Okay, so we got our first clue. Survey the mineral. Uh, what is there to survey? It's right there. Perfect. Survey a small deposit of uranium. That's always nice. Perfect. Now we're making some progress.
over here. And I can tell there's somebody big nearby. Perfect. There we go. Yep! It's our old friend again. Little crusher. Still alive after all that? For reals? That'll do it. Nice. One of us leveled up. Is there something else here? Oh no, it looks like I got everything here. Alright, so our next up is the anomaly. First time to level up my squad, including myself. First aid. Definitely want to charm my character. Insignia. Great. Camp is the next spot. There appears to be no one left at this camp. The generator is still functioning, but there are no signs of the former occupants. This camp's computer notes several locations of interest. Ooh. Interesting. Alright. I mean, I suppose we could. Now, yeah, what the heck. Like I said before, the more 
the more things you get done here, the easier the uh, better levels are going to be. So, what the heck. Surveyed a large deposit of cobalt. Nice. We'll go up here next. Should have guessed. Guess we're gonna be here. Shepard gets the new step. Shepard gets this one. But, you know what? Sucks that this was a trap, but you know what? Now we know. Destination is the base. She's not too far.
Sniper rifle for sure. Let's see what's going on here. around a small data pad. Oh, let's go take a look. Got rolls we gotta go look. We have to look for. But before I do that, there's one computer I gotta take a look at. Alright, so it's back to the Citadel. This takes care of this side of the uh, area. Oh, good, another med gel. Don't worry about this. 
this later. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. right there. I hope he's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I figured you'd want to know the truth, no matter how painful. You're right. It's worse not knowing. That's what they all say, at least. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. All right, so I got an Asari ally achievement. Nice. Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. What is she doing here? Huh. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Well, now Since you, you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just uh. need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? Yes. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. 
Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. But it could jeopardize yours. Hi, hi, hi. What is the Citadel security plan to bug in the Citadel trap as going near the back of the sea sack? Okay. Back. Well, we gotta go that way anyway, so. I know where this is. Yeah. You know, one thing that's always bugged me is that how come Trevor doesn't stand up and say, look, I'm not your errand boy, all right? Why don't you learn to do this yourself? I mean, Trevor's got enough on his mind as is. C-Sec is investigating a woman named Elena Blake. There's no hard evidence against her, but if these reports are correct, she's a powerful criminal element on the Citadel. She was last seen to the Emporium on the Presidium. Oh, for God's sakes. Are the people at C-Sec this lazy that I have to uh, do everything for them? <sighs> Things I do for love. And, and experience points, too. But it had not been for these, uh, rapid, tra rapid transits, I would have taken forever in a day. I'm already getting readings. This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. I hope for our sake, uh, she doesn't get fired for this. Well, then again, I really don't care if she gets fired after all. It wasn't me who, uh, wants the scoop. It's her. I think I have to go to the embassies. Alright. So, where's this person of interest? Uh, wait a minute. Financial district, okay. The Emporium. Oh, it's all the way over there. Sure as heck beats walking. Alright, now where is she? I'm telling you, this is not what Jake would want. Who are you to tell me what my husband would want? I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. This baby is the only thing I have left of Jake. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. 
What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is! I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Oh, looks like we got some more stuff here. Oh, she's gotta get leveled up too. All right, let's move on. We have to find this person of interest. Hmm. Near the Emporium. All right, so we gotta go back this way. Moving out. Regroup. There she is. Got a moment. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures, but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. This just keeps getting more and more interesting.
I am curious about the helmet you always wear, Tally. Does it contain technical augmentation systems? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. I suppose that makes it more likely you will return from your pilgrimage then. You are only truly safe on your flotilla. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in the outer space? Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved.
Good luck. Oh, I'm a Pestalarian. That's ought to be interesting. Take a look. Perfect. Oh, found an ID tag. We discovered several small artifacts. Among them is an identification tag belonging to Captain Stranaka. One of the Salarian soldiers charged with hunting down the League of One. Nice. Okay. Well, all good, so let's keep moving. Like I said, I wonder what all these minerals and deposits are going to play. Excellent. The next stop is the hideout. We gotta figure out somewhere how to get up there. Yeah, of course, there's an idea. Climb. So who leveled up? I did, of course. Garris hasn't leveled up in a while. Perfect. Let's head inside. going on.
bad company. Defeated. Lana was right. These guys had quite the operation on it. That's all going to change. One down, one more to go. So I gotta go to the disk system now in the Hades cluster. See if there's anything else of value here. Since we're here anyways.
All right, we're out of here. I probably parked a little bit closer, but that's all right. Nobody's home. Someone shut this place down. Only basic life support is still running. Hmm. Or based on our, uh, based on how things have been going so far, this could be a trap. Hear that? We're not alone. Somebody set that trap. The whole place could be wired. Machines keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. Body's nothing but an empty shell. Leave him alone until we know more about what's going on here. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, she hasn't uh, been leveled up in a while, so I might as well just level her up while we're at it. Now she can equip heavy armor. Jacob. 
I won't give up on him. I won't. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to... Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... <laughs> You did the right thing, Commander. Alright, we're gonna come back here, get the right people, and get those items, and get out of here. realized okay it can be leveled up oh, one more level to go and I can start equipping heavy armor but that's gonna be a while so areas. Grab the goodies and get out.
get everything I want here, so we can probably move out. We already did this one here. We don't need to go to the Ontario. Yeah, we're done here. Unless I was supposed to board the Ontario. Survey the land. Uh, uranium. This system the Hades Gamma Cluster. Alright. There it is. Perfect. Where to first? Let's go over here first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, see you later, dude. I don't think I got my stuck here. Perfect. I was gonna say, I thought I got myself stuck for a minute. <laughs> you just got blown sky high. See you later, dude. That's always priceless. But we're not quite ready to go here yet. There's other mad guys to attend to. There's old footprints leading away from this escape pod, but no sign of any survivors. Another Solarian. Hmm. Another medallion. Perfect. You lead, I'll follow.
second crime lord defeated. That is both of them. No doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. Yeah, we'll see. Well, since we are here anyways. Might as well go take a look and see if there's anything else that we can uh, can, uh salvage. Alright, so what next? So we gotta go back to the Citadel. Oh, I gotta go to the Horsehead Nebula. The Fortuna system, eh? Alright. Now that we have to go all the way back to the Citadel. Since we are here anyways, might as well start here for our next uh, assignment. Might as well.
hunting yet. Very nice. Let's see what Helena wants. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserve it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Well, that takes care of that. Does he have anything worth of value? Access to these rooms. Let's get out of here. Business here is done.
said we were already here. We were already here, so we don't need to be here again. Start our first task. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted. Identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. Uh, yeah, it's called what looking a fun right there. Bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, so where do we go? All right, so we have customs. All right, fair enough. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Let's not start a fight. I'll be behind you. That armor's in good condition. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. There's certainly a nice bunch of people. What? I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's aide is here. Passed through? Where is she now? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Good. Give us directions and we'll be on our way. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. 
If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. Commander, it might be wise to bring Dr. Tassoni along. She knows her brother better than any of us. Yeah, good idea. So one of you two is going to have to be left behind. Think of that. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. All right, we're not quite... logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Greetings. Welcome to the stream. I am actually doing quite good. How are you doing today? Respected site for independent <laughs> scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. But we already got clearance. Questions or concerns, so... and plus our we're a administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. All right. Hmm. Am I a Star Wars fan? Um. How can I put this? Do I did I do I enjoy watching the Star Wars movie? Yes. Have I seen any of the shows like The Mandalorian or Clone Wars? No, I have not. Um, but to put myself as a term as a fan for Star Wars, very very loosely because I've only seen the movies and that's it. But that was a good question though. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. Did they? Let's see what he has to say. The Erks guard? I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Where exactly am I supposed to go? Oh, over there. Oh, wait a minute. Get off my screen. Jeez, you crazy destinations. Alright. Oh, it's easy to get lost here, but we're just gonna head straight down. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I always keep doing that. Yeah, this is the correct way. Actually, there is one other thing I forgot to mention. As far as Star Wars being a Star Wars fan, go. I've played a few of the games. I've played Shadows of the Empire, and I've also played Pod Racer. Both good games, in my opinion. Alright, let's go talk to her. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. He certainly sounds like he's got a busy schedule. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. Oh, will only the bad batch? As required by the um, executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Like what? Like how bad was it? Was it like so bad that the production value was low, or so bad that it was cheesy, or? I have to, I have to expand on that. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? 
Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Oh, that is the actual name of the show. Bad Batch. Huh. Never heard of it. Well, then again, to be fair, I really don't watch TV that I've much anymore. Usually 99% of the time Tunisia? because... 99% of my TV was just not worth She arrived not a few watching. days ago, accompanied but by a person... I digress, and that's my opinion. Cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She's here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. I, I have bet. no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. That just seems odd. And like I said before, he's certainly friendly. Of course he's not impressed by my credentials. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a past to leave Henshan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. All right. What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. You know, that's the interesting not thing. Your shot of Mr. Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. And these uh, high execs, they're never impressed. Even if you have the uh, most impressive resume in the world, it only gets you oh so very far. Oh, I gotta go find this dude. Oh, right. Hold time bar. Take the elevator to the upper end of the plaza opposite the entrance. Okay, so which means I gotta go up in the world again. You know what, since I am here anyways, and I haven't done any shopping in a while, might as well just go take a look. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. It never is. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. In layman's terms, buy for me. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to oh, anyone. the Clone Wars. Yes, I've heard war. of the Clone Wars. I actually heard, unless I'm thinking of something else, it's that animated series I think I remember, if I remember right. I remember that, because that, the Clone Wars sounds very familiar. Because I've heard of it. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. 
Well, I suppose. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. What kind of Is there fees? anything else this one might help you with? Well, like I said, I am here anyways. Might Can as well I buy take a something look. now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? Well, let's go take a look at the upgrades. Like I said, I have a ton of credits, so... Oh. That's... All there is. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Um. Greetings, Spectre. Have you brought the package? I'm here to shop. Of course. This well, let's one go take a look at some for inconveniencing you. Things. Let's go take a look. Ooh. Okay, now I can see where these licenses are coming from. Because the more of these I purchase, the more he'll, uh... Oh, I definitely want this for sure. Definitely want that. Let's see here. I think the rest we're gonna wait on. So let's go take a look and see. Uh. <sighs> well, first things first here. I'm here. I might as well go take a look at the. Uh... I'm gonna take a look at the elevator first. Because if I'm here. Might as well just get his job done. You know, before I do any smuggling. You know what I mean? Huh? Have I played Mass Effect before? Well, I have played the second game. Um, I've actually skipped on the first one for some odd reason. And from what I understand, the third game had a bit... It had a good reception, but also not as good as the first two. So to answer that question, I've only played the second game up until now. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. What is with everybody interrupting me? The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity. Or so Vargas will think. We'll see. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... My... Real intentions. Strange people skulking in corners have gotten me in trouble before. I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. Blah, blah, blah. You want to assess any Just potential to risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Ah, what the heck. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Jeez. Well, first things first here, let's talk to Lorik. Uh, he'll probably be the easier of the two. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? 
I'm Commander Shepard of the Systems Alliance Navy. It's too late for cover-ups, Commander. Your picture has been sent to every employee. They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. For the moment? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is Isn't he the pot calling the kettle black? He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Natlak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence Fly on against the wall. Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? <laughs> Can't make guarantees there, pal. But I'll see what I can do. Sometimes in life, you have to uh, crack a few skulls just to get what you want. But, first things first. But, first things first. I gotta talk to Ruffy. Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention that. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, I'm Commander Shepard, a Spectre. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Raphael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? I might be. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Citadel contracted to a Solarian Corporation for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. We can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented so techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk I order, I can work in a sensory Start scratching his neck. Guarantee you gotta, keep, gotta keep pressing him. And hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. How would you distribute the upgrades? Retroviral injections would take some time. Well, it does take time to upgrade a body with adjusted DNA. Skin cells could be replaced in two weeks, but the liver takes over a year, and the skeleton a decade. For frontline units, we can speed the process with full system transfusions and injections to stimulate regrowth. It would still take six months to see results. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely legal. Hmm, he's starting to scratch his neck. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Novaria are strictly on the level. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to your business with us. Excellent. 
Any results? Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more, since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. <laughs> oh, I just love uh Oh, I just love uh strong arguing someone just to get a few extra credits. All right. So, our next destination is smuggling. Oh, that's... Oh, it's back on the normal. That's gonna have to wait. We have to do this one now. Break in. Taking the elevator in order to pause at the synthetic sites. Okay, so. I gotta take the level, lower level to in synthetic insights. Alright, we're here. Alright. Let's see here. I gotta go clockwise from where I'm at. Interesting character. Spectre, right? Who's asking? Don't worry. I'm not out to put a slug in your head. At least I used not to be yet. a military tech. Except for my ego's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's the problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus, and the Matriarch came through. Do you know where that Matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. Fifteen's always had a lousy reputation. Nobody talks about what they do there. And everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zainalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet like. So no off-world lawyers come in on it. <laughs> we'll see. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 you here, X. keeping the shuttles coming and going. All right. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Well, it seems like, uh... So it never hurts to poke your nose around anything, so... Let's just do this mission real quick. Security. This office is sealed. Laura Keene gave me a pass in. Keene? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keene. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Okay. I guess that can work.
person report to the attention of the minister and Elias. A man named Garoth is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our friends. We did this already here. Yeah, um, we already looked into that. I think in the previous, uh... Yeah, we already did this here, so I don't need, a. Uh... to go. Well, I think I'm supposed to go downstairs. Alright. I'll take the upgrades, though. Perfect. Making some progress here. That's what I like to see. Okay, so it's all the way up here. First, I'm definitely getting this. Oh, I'm out of points here. Advanced barrier for her. Oh, he'll be useful for uh. Download the evidence from Mark's computer. Great! Right. Right, let's hurry up and take this back to him. Oh, now what? I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. You have me at a disadvantage, miss. Oh, now you're gonna show some respect? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Your men are dirty, Sergeant. You're here off duty, breaking the law for bribe money. I have a mission to complete. I did what I had to. I don't care. matter. Well, anyways, let's get this evidence back to Lorik before uh, more trouble comes abound. And if I have to let the stream run a little longer, I'll do just that. Yeah. When they just sit there thinking we're gonna come one way, with only for them to uh, go another. Oh, all right, I gotta get some heavy armor equipped. I think I'll take the scorpion though. There we go. Oh, she can't equip much. Neither can he, but that's okay. My commander and Ashley are the two people that can wear heavy armor so far. Let's go. Our next destination is Lorik himself. Oh. Oh, you're building MK11. By the way, how is that game? 
I've been hearing some mixed things about it. Some say it's good, some say it's bad, some it's everything what can in between. I do for you today? I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Oh, what does she want now? Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Speak plain. What's your interest? Not here, Spectre. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Talk to Keen, huh? All right. You know, as much as I really want to continue this, however, uh, we're gonna stop this here for right now. Um, I personally want to say thanks to everyone who watched. Thanks to those who enjoyed. Uh, who in who are on the stream chat, um, thanks everyone for watching. I will see everybody next time.